Boy, it is uh, quickly becoming a gigantic problem in Connecticut this year. The latest numbers are that 52 people have died in our state due to complications from the flu. And the uh, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say that the peak of flu season is still to come. So joining me now to talk about prevention, Dr. David Lowe from Western Connecticut Medical Group, New Milford Primary Care. I haven't met him before. A pleasure to meet you. Thank you for joining us. Pleasure meeting you as well. Yes. All right. Well, we are going to talk about, of course, getting the flu shot. We've talked about that a lot, but why don't we talk about other ways people can minimize their chances of contracting the flu. Definitely. And one of the biggest things that people should do is when you are starting to feel sick, try to stay away from others. Um, it is a droplet-related illness, which means that if you're coughing, sneezing, rubbing your eyes, it's very easy to pass along. Mm -hmm. And so if you're going to cough, we do recommend that you try to carry tissues with you. Um, cough into your elbow if you can. Uh, and then just washing your hands using hand sanitizer whenever you can um, are very important and easy things to do to try to prevent the spread. Simple alcohol-based hand sanitizers, those still work very well, don't they? Definitely. And they're very common. You can keep a small vial in your uh, suitcase or in your bag and carry it along with you. What about, I'm seeing more and more people uh, taking to wearing masks. Is that going to help to any degree or is it still people getting things on their hands and rubbing their eyes? Do we have any idea that that's going to help people out? Definitely. In the hospital, uh, you see a lot of people wearing masks because it is, like we said, a droplet uh, past disease. That being said, you know, anything that we can do to try to reduce the amount of exposure is the most important thing. So if you are one of those people that likes to itch your eye or scratch your nose, it's just trying to get into the habit of avoiding to do that. That's hard to do. <laughs> you have to be aware of your hands and your eyes at all the time because I am one of those people. All right, talking now about the flu shot, I hear a lot of people telling me, well, I was going to get one, but I'm too busy. Eh, it's too late now. Is there anything to that? We still highly, highly recommend getting the flu shot. The flu season does last until May, although uh, it tends to drop off starting from March and after that point. Uh, but we still have at least two good months of the flu left. Uh, and it is extremely important because it is the best way to prevent uh, you coming down with the flu. Yeah, and we have talked about it. It certainly isn't perfect. But uh, even if people get the flu, my understanding is that the flu shot can help to lessen the severity. How exactly. does that work? Exactly. And so the body gets somewhat exposed to the, the flu that is being passed around. Mm -hmm. And so when you're already a little exposed to it, it makes it easier for the body to mount a good active response. Um, and so it may shorten the duration of the flu. So instead of having it for two weeks, you may only be sick for about one week. And it also might make the symptoms a little less um, severe. And we do need to keep an eye on that because we're talking about people who are dying from flu complications. Often it is the complications. It's not the flu itself. It's maybe something like pneumonia that you can contract because the flu has hit you hard first. So it's important for people to know what to look for. What should people be looking for to know when the flu is starting to cross over into being pneumonia, doctor? Great question. So the flu typically lasts about a week to two weeks. And it has kind of that stereotypical, oh, within about three to five days you feel feverish, you have muscle aches, um, sweaty, sore throat, eye pain, headache. Mm -hmm. um, but usually after about 10 days or so, you start to get better. Yeah. One of the big things that we get concerned about is if you start feeling better and then you get sick a second time. Because the flu is kind of like that first punch. It kind of knocks the immune system down a little bit. And that makes it easier for you to develop a second infection afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, and if you've been sick for longer than two weeks, that's another concern. Um, or if you start complaining of chest pain, in addition to everything else that you've been dealing with. Please keep an eye on that because that's really when things can go south and that's when you need medical treatment. Uh, Dr. Lowe, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it. A thank you so much. A pleasure to have you in here. Thanks for driving all the way in.